Here we're going to tie a fly called the Spork. This is a fly invented by John Barr for carp. We're going to tie the rust colored spork here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pair of gold bead chain eyes and I'm just going to figurate those onto my hook. I'm going to put them fairly close to the eye. I'm going to leave just enough room to finish the fly off with a small head at the end. Then I'm just going to take my thread I'm going to wrap down the shank. And this fly you're going to wrap all the way down, about halfway down the, the bend of the shank. And I'm just going to take my thread forward real quick. First thing we're going to add here is the tail. And for the tail, we don't want to add too much marabou. This fly was meant to be tied fairly sparse. So I just take the marabou and I'm going to use just the tip. So I stripped off all the excess marabou at the back. We want this tail to be about the length of the entire hook. So I just kind of roughly measure it out and I lay it down on my hook. I'm going to take my thread and I'm just going to wrap back down the bend and I'll kind of pull this tail on top of the shank of the hook to kind of keep it in place. And then you can trim out the butt ends or the excess here. And I'll just kind of clean that up real quick. Now the next thing to tie in is going to be our wire. This will be the rib at the end of the fly here. I'm just going to tie in some fine or some small copper wire. I'm just going to tie that in right on the side of the hook. And the next thing I'm going to tie in is going to be the body material. For this I'm just going to use some medium root beer cactus chenille. You definitely do not want to use the large for this fly. You want to use the medium. Large would be much too thick. And for now I'm just going to leave those hanging off the, the back of the fly. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take two pairs of white rubber legs. Just medium white round rubber. I'm going to tie one kind of in the back two thirds of this fly not quite in the middle just behind the middle portion of the fly and I'm just going to figurate those in with a few wraps I'm going to take my thread forward to just past the middle portion kind of the front middle or the front two thirds and again I'm going to take my thread and I'm just going to figure eight that pair in there and I kind of want them to be on top of the hook so they kind of face up if you can you can draw them up and place a few wraps right in front of them that'll help kind of force them upwards I'm going to take my thread to just in just behind those eyes now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a sharpie and I'm just going to Put a few bar marks on these legs. Sharpie is kind of old, not really working too good for me here. You can buy legs pre-made like this. I usually just use a Sharpie, but apparently I need to get a new one. And usually I do a set of three, three little bars. Doesn't have to be perfect, just enough to kind of give the legs a little bit of variation. Once you've got your legs barred, you can see what I've done here, just barred the, the legs. I 
Once you've got them barred, you're ready to wrap the body material here. So I'm just going to take that cactus chenille. Make sure none of that marabou gets caught in it. I'm just going to start wrapping it forward. Try not to get any of the legs or tail fibers caught in it. I'm just going to wrap this in between the legs. Two wraps. I'm going to jump in front of them here. And once I get to just behind the eyes, I'm just going to capture the cactus chenille. Trim out the excess. Now I'm just going to take my thread and I'm going to jump right in front of those eyes. I'm going to turn the hook up just slightly. I'm going to take a brown hackle feather. I'm going to tie this in right in front of the eyes here. Make sure it's nice and secure. And I could trim out the excess quill. Now I'm just going to take this feather and my first few wraps I'm going to do right in front of the eyes. I'm going to jump behind the eyes wrap in between the legs go behind the legs once I get to the tail I'm just going to take my wire I'm just going to counter wrap Once I get to the eye, I can capture that wire. Kind of pull that hackle back. Trim out any trapped fibers. And I can whip finish. Trim out your thread. Now I'm going to trim these legs. I'm just going to draw all four of them up. I'm going to trim them about the length of the shank of the hook. Just enough so they kind of stick up. And I could trim out the excess hackle fiber back there. And that's all there is to the spork carp fly. We'll ride hook up. These bead chains will cause the fly to rotate in the water and it'll actually ride like so on the bottom. As you strip it, these legs will wiggle. And that's all there is to the spore carp fly.